Sun Wukong is not a legend, but the world's first superhero created with heart. It has been shaped by countless creators and has a history of more than a thousand years. In Ming Dynasty's journey to the West, he successfully completed it and became the strongest superhero in the world. As a result, more film and TV adaptations have been made about him than any other superhero on the planet. Chapter 1 Where did Sun Wukong come from? Sun Wukong is from Journey to the West, the first episodic romance novel of gods and demons in China. The book has 585,000 words and was completed in 1560 AD. The story revolves around the story of Tang Sanzong and Sun Wukong, Zhu Baji, Sha Wu Jing, and other disciples seeking scriptures from the West, reflecting the theme of ancient times. Punish evil and promote good. The origin of Journey to the West comes from a great true story. In 629 AD, the eminent monk Xuanzang felt that different sects of Chinese Buddhism had different interpretations, so he decided to go to India from Chang'an to find the scriptures. It took four years, trekking 25,000 kilometers, and finally arrived in India after untold hardships. During his 16 years in India, he learned multiple languages and sought guidance from monks of different denominations. The event that received the most attention was the religious debate held in his honor by the king during his last year in India. There are rewards and punishments in the debate. The meeting lasted 18 days, and 20 kings and 3,000 monks came to debate. Many learned, talented, and influential people debated with Xuanzang, but no one could defeat him, and no one could find a flaw in his arguments. After the debate, the king of India wanted him to stay, but Xuanzang was still worried about the development of Buddhism in China and returned to China in 644 AD. After returning to China, he translated a large number of classics, which laid an important foundation for Chinese Buddhism. Tang Taizong felt that Xuanzang's experience was unparalleled, so he asked Xuanzang to tell his own experience, and his disciples recorded it in the book Da Tang Western Regions. Da Tang Western Regions not only allows Chinese to understand the stories of the Western regions, but also is very important to India. Due to the lack of written historical records in India, this book has become a necessary document for the study of ancient Indian geography and history and is regarded as a treasure. Many archaeological excavations have been carried out based on the records in this book. Because of Xuanzang's legendary experience after his death, his disciples compiled a new book depicting him in a mythical way to publicize his great achievements. This is considered to be the beginning of the mythical story of Journey to the West. Since then, stories of pilgrimage have spread in society, and supernatural elements have become increasingly prominent. Chapter 3. When Did Monkey King Appear? The specific image of Sun Wukong first appeared around 1000 AD and was portrayed as a bodyguard protecting Xuanzang from learning Buddhist scriptures, adding more stories to Xuanzang's adventures. With the passage of time, through the efforts of many literati in the Song and Yuan dynasties, this story has been continuously expanded, organized, and recreated. It was not until the middle of the 16th century that the complete version of the novel Journey to the West was established, thus solidifying the main plot. Chapter 4. Why is Journey to the West widely circulated? The first reason is that Journey to the West integrates the three core ideologies of China, Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism. The heaven and hell of Buddhism, the gods of Taoism, and the benevolence, righteousness, and faith of Confucianism are all integrated into the story. Therefore, no matter what belief you hold, you can find a sense of familiarity and affinity in the plot, which also reflects the openness of Chinese society to different religions. The second reason is due to its engaging plot and character development. Because the original work has a clear timeline, it is difficult to distinguish between true and false. The characteristics of human, god, and animal archetypes are skillfully combined to create a romantic and imaginative storyline while maintaining attention to detail and realism. 
The novel has produced countless moving stories and has become one of the four famous works of Chinese literature and the most widely circulated novel in China. In many parts of Asia, everyone knows Sun Wukong, Tang Sanzong, Zhu Baji, and Sha Wu Jing in Journey to the West. Over the centuries, Journey to the West has been adapted into various local operas, movies, TV dramas, animations, comics, etc., and there are many versions. Chapter 5 Why Monkey King Became the Strongest Superhero There are three main reasons why Sun Wukong is so powerful. First of all, since his character has been continuously innovated since 1000 AD, there are no copyright issues, and his abilities are constantly improved or reinterpreted, so the works continue to emerge. His work surpasses any other superhero in the world. The second reason is that most superheroes are set in a specific group or race, but Monkey King's body transcends animals, humans, immortals, and gods. He can travel between four dimensions, but still maintains a childlike innocence and mischievousness. He not only pursues justice, but also has many struggles in his heart. Through his own struggle and the teachings of his master, his inner self evolved into a true superhero. The third reason, Wukong has unparalleled superpowers in the story. One, Golden Cudgel. It has strong aggressiveness, is hard, heavy, can change in size arbitrarily, and can also obey the call of Monkey King. Two, 72 transformations. He can change into the appearance or objects of other people, such as turning into a temple, turning into a fly, and so on. But no new abilities will be added due to transformation three. Tendon Cloud. He can step on the ground and fly quickly, and he can also fly to the sky to communicate with gods. Four, strong martial arts. No one in the story can defeat Monkey King with martial arts. 5. With the supernatural power, it can be enlarged or reduced without any external force or equipment. 6. Clone technique. After being split in half, it can become two Monkey Kings, and both clones have the same combat power. 7. Pluck the hair and turn into a monkey. He pulls off the monkey hair on his body, blows the fairy air, and turns into a monkey soldier, which is a temporary confusing spell. Eight, bronze head and iron arm. No weapon can harm his physical body. Nine, infinite strength, able to carry a mountain. 10. Strong Willpower and the Ability to Strategize in Team Battles Chapter 6. Who Can Defeat Monkey King? In the story, the only character who can draw a tie with Monkey King is Erlang Shen. However, Sun Wukong was finally overwhelmed by the guidance of his master, the compassion of Avalokitesvara, and the teachings of Buddha. Chapter 7 Why is there a temple of Monkey King? In Chinese folk beliefs, different regions worship different animal spirits. In some parts of southeast China, some people will worship the monkey god. Because of the popularity in Journey to the West, people converted the monkey god into a temple of Monkey King. They respectfully call Sun Wukong Monkey King. If you are interested in this oriental superhero, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We will share many stories about Monkey King in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.